friend, I am just about to leave and go do a dressing room try-on for you. I wanted to give you some info before we head over to the store. So first I want to start with today's outfit, strategically planned. Okay, first of all, it's hot. It's like 90, yeah, it's 90 degrees right now. It's supposed to hit 97. Whew. So dress accordingly. I think this, I don't think this is still available. If it is, I'll link it, but I think this was from last summer from Walmart. I just absolutely love it. It's like a tissue weight tea. It's not like a tissue weight tea. It is in fact a tissue weight tea. And then these are my go-to for the summer. These are the Caslon linen joggers. I went with petites and stayed with my true size, small. These do run big, so um, as do I lately. But I wanted to point out that I think these make my legs look more slender, even though they're more fitted. Normally I like when I wear my linen joggers, they're a little looser fit, but looking at these and maybe I'm just hallucinating and trying to tell myself I look thinner. Um, I think wearing them more fitted like this, and now I didn't really iron them, so this isn't pulling, this is just actual wrinkles. Um, I think they make my legs look a little bit thinner. I don't know, could be just me. Anyway, I chose these separates because sometimes I'm just gonna be trying on tops so I can keep these on, this color goes with everything. Sometimes I'll be just obviously trying on bottoms. This isn't exactly neutral, but I feel like it goes with a lot of the things I would choose. And then I went with these sandals because they're slip-ons, so I can kick them on and off. And if I want to try something on that's more sporty and would go with more like a sneaker type, I could just, you know, kick these off and see how the length fits like so. So that is my strategy behind the outfit. Um, very tiny earrings so that, let's flip you around. Very tiny earrings so they don't get snagged in the clothes as I'm taking them on and off. No lipstick so that I don't get stuff smeared on the clothing. And uh, we are pretty much good to go. I just have to put my rings back on. Also a note about the sound. So I'm assuming they're gonna have loud music blasting in the dressing rooms because everybody does. And on YouTube, if you get more than about 10 seconds, maybe even less sometimes of a recognizable song, they'll put a copyright strike on your video. I do not want that. So the editing software that I use now has this new capability of muffling the background sound. It kind of sounds a little like I'm underwater. I did it at my last video, my um, loft try on. So if you thought, oh, that sounded a little funky, that's why. It just allows me to film without doing a voiceover and um, without having to worry about copyright strike. I hope it is not too terribly distracting. When I was watching it in playback, I thought it was just fine, um, but I wanted to let you know. All right, so like I said, I'm gonna go put my rings on because I feel naked and let's head to the mall. Before we head out, actually one more thing. I just got this in PR. These are new from Urban Decay. They're little naked palettes. There's three of them in this collection. They sent me Naked Sin and they're all a slightly different color palette. But first, how fun is this packaging? Can you see S-I-N in there? And then it's, I think six. Yep, six shadows. And today I'm wearing this in the crease this in the outer corner these are both matte blend like a dream and then sin on the lid this is a little bit frostier this is a matte white i wish it wasn't quite so white and this is a beautiful really kind of a goldeny pink doesn't want to focus there we go isn't that gorgeous just a little more than i wanted to wear today all right now let's go to the mall Okay, first of all, shout out to Mark, who is a longtime follower, who I think is the manager here. When I walked in, he's like, you look familiar. I'm like, yes. Um, so anyway, they hooked me up. Very nice big dressing room to share with you. So the cool thing about Athleta is they obviously have athletic wear, but they also have everyday clothes and they're great for traveling too. And apparently they're really well known for their linen pieces. So um, I pulled a ton of their linen pants. They have the wide leg pants and they have this jogger style. And I know you probably don't think of black in the summertime, but I'm loving this look. I'm loving the really fitted top. It's a tank top, it's ribbed. I don't know if you can see how ribbed it is, but um, so it's thicker, it feels like it's double lined, um, but it sucks everything in, pushes the girls up. It's definitely a racer bag, so I have to wear a racer bag bra, which I'm not wearing right now. And then these are the black joggers. I love these. Everything runs true to size. I'm wearing small on the top and four in the joggers. 
Let me see if I can share. In the rear, you see, I mean, it's hard to see in black. But right now, this definitely going home with me. And I could easily wear these for more dressy night, just the way it is with these sandals. I could throw on some white sneaks and like a little like denim coat or jacket or something. There's a lot you can do with this outfit. So, and I like the pockets. Okay, let's see what else we have. This is their poplin top and it is very, very generously sized. This is the small. So I do have the extra small, we'll give it a go. Comes in other colors. I saw it in black and I think it, there may be some other options as well. Um, I look like I am wearing maternity wear from the 60s, but let me just share with you some of the details. I really like the pleats on the sleeves. It's an interesting sort of, let me flip you around. So I like the collar. I like the v-neck and I like the banded collar. I like the pleats on the sleeves. It is a um, higher cut in the front, lower in the back. But let me slip on the extra small and let's see see how that looks. Okay, this is the extra small and it definitely fits better and I could definitely do like a little front tuck. I just, and maybe all the way tucked in actually. It's pretty cute, but this is a lot of material and it's just not the look that I'm going for. I love all the details and maybe it's the look that you want. It is 100% polyester, so it feels like a cotton poplin, but it's less wrinkly and easier to clean. I did want to share with you a little detail on the back. It has this nice pleating and a little ruffle all the way across the back. So really great details, just not the shirt for me. Okay, same pants, so ignore that. This is what I'm gonna call an elevated tee. I love the wider collar band around the neck. I just bunched it up, but it's really, it feels like um, like a viscose kind of jersey feel, really flowy and nice. I like the way the sleeves are cut. I don't know if you'll be able to see this. I might have to take it off to share with you, but the back is really cool. Uh, let's see if I can pull this off. So, yes, you can see it. There's a little slit at the top, and I'm wearing a bra. You can't see the bra, but it has a nice kind of little detail down the middle of the back, and then that little peekaboo slit. It's probably the only peekaboo type slit that I am comfortable with. I like this. This is going in the keep pile. Okay, so now I'm wearing that same tank in a different color. These are their wide leg cropped linen, and I'm sharing these with you because, first of all, I'm 5'4". Now, I'm wearing like three inch heels, but they're not too cropped. They're not like a capri length that I think is terrible. Also, if you happen to be petite, I think this would be great. They would probably be full length on you, but let me, I feel like they're a little high up on me. Let me share with you what they look like without shoes. So you can see 5'4", they're a nice length. I like these. Um, I'm gonna see if they have a different color because I just, other than wearing it in a monotone like this, which I really like, I can't see myself reaching for this particular color on their own. Like, I think I would prefer a more neutral, like a black or navy or olive, something like that. So I will look for other options. I also feel like there's like a camel toe thing happening here, but there really isn't. These are going on the maybe pile, we shall see. Same look, but these are a different cut. These are the wide leg, non-cropped linen pants, size four as well. These fit completely differently. These feel a little more snug across the belly and head on, they look fine, but I feel like, I don't know, they're snug. Um, and my concern is I washed this once and what's gonna happen, so these do fit a little more differently than the joggers and even the cropped. Um, but you can see they're a little longer. They're not too crazy long. If I take my shoes off, I don't think they're gonna hit the ground. Just touching the floor. So couldn't wear these with flats. They would hit the ground. Uh, a little disappointed. Maybe we'll try these in a six just to see if there's a noticeable difference. Okay, same pants, sized up to a six obviously in the white and I like these I think these fit better in this style on a six the joggers fit me perfectly in a four so good to come in and try on here's the problem these are really thin in fact let me just humiliate myself on camera let me show you the back there you go can you see that you can totally see that. this is embarrassing I can't really share it just trust me they're see-through I'm wearing nude underwear 
so disappointed because I really do want a pair of true white linen pants. It's still looking. Okay, you've seen these before, but what a difference a color makes. So I tried these on in this color and I was like, eh. I love this coral color and I have some tops that'll go with it. I have a lot of white tops that'll go with it. So I just, I don't know. Of the two colors on me, I like this. I'm hoping they have a tank in this color as well. I like the monochromatic look, but four, it works and not see through. I mean, you can see a little bit of this dark teal through here, but I would never wear it like this. So this would also look really chic with black, I have to say. Oh my goodness. I don't think the video does this justice. This is an extra small. It is super flowy. It has pockets. This would be great as a bathing suit cover up. It would be great with like a little fun contrasting tank under it. Oh my God, I love this so much. Let me see if I can show you the back. Okay, really cute with the with the Soma bra, but it's definitely a racer bag. So you're gonna need a racer bag bra or cami or whatnot, or bandeau would work too. I'm not sure if I shared. It has a high-low hem. And when you move, this thing flows behind you. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I love this so much. I love this kind of neckline. I feel like it's incredibly flattering. It's getting very loud in here. Um, the people that work here, amazing. They're so friendly and everyone's having a good time. And you can tell how many people are here repeatedly because they, they know them. It's just, it's a good vibe here. Anyway, um, one of the sales assistants said she's seen it where people can tie it in the front. So if you want a little bit shorter, and you can really dress this thing up. You can also just wear it as like a swimsuit cover up. You can throw a jean jacket over it, put white sneaks on. It's 98 bucks. It also has pockets. So yeah, they only have black in store. I think there are other colors online. The shopping continues. I have bought a really cute top and uh, shorts to go with it. I'll put a picture of it over here. But um, I ordered the shorts in my real size and you really need to size, I really need to size up. So I'm returning the shorts and I want immediate gratification. So I'm just gonna return them to Nordstrom for a gift card, store credit. And I'm just gonna go upstairs and see what else they have for me. I love it here. And the anniversary sale's right around the corner. Alrighty, I went upstairs and I should just listen to my own advice. I'm always telling you guys to go online because there's way more there and there's nothing in this, like there's nothing. <sighs> Maybe they're just getting ready for all the stuff that's coming for the anniversary sale. Anyway, I saw these white linen pants. I love them. They are NYDJ. I got size four and they are, I mean, I could basically take them off without unbuttoning them. Look at this. So you probably would say, well, Marnie, grab the next size down. I would, except can you see my panties? And just for clarification, these are nude color panties. So like, if those are see-through, then what am I just supposed to do? I can't go pantyless, because then you could, anyway, disappointed. They do have them in black, but I want white. I'm gonna whine. Um, so yeah, I'm still on the hunt for white linen pants that you can wear without showing off your underwear. Alrighty, so I think I'm just gonna save my $85 credit, go online and see what I can find there. And also if you are interested in the NYDJ Maryland pants in the linen, definitely size down one. They do have them in black, but I don't want black. I want white. I'm being a little obstinate. Alrighty, let's get all this stuff home. Maybe do a little online shopping and call it a day. I'm home and I wanted to share with you what came home with me. And I have a little reward for one of you who actually sat through this whole video. So don't click out just yet. How cute are the bags? These are reusable shopping bags, which I love because I can never have enough of those. And let's just dive in. I did hop onto their website so that I have some more information about the pieces. I'll insert the pictures from trying on in case you've forgotten. So first we have the Cabo Linen Jogger. And I have to say, they told me this at the store and then I saw it again on the website. Everything is machine washable and dryable. So no dry cleaning necessary, nothing special to be done. I probably will hang dry the linen. But anyway, these are the Cabo Linen Joggers. Let me give you some info. They're $79. They come in regular, tall, and petite lengths. 
The sizing runs from size 0 to 26, and there are four colors, tangerine, kind of like a lighter version of this, white, black, and a light chambray, which is beautiful, and I may have to add that to my collection. I also brought home these cropped linen pants. I like the flat front waistband, actually. I think that's really pretty. There is elastic on the back, and I didn't really share with you the back of this. They have just the normal pockets. I have to pop them open. They're sewn shut right now. And then zipper ones in the front, which is kind of great because then you could slide your phone and a couple of credit cards in there and zip them up and you don't even need a bag. Let's flip back to the jogger so I can show you the back of those. So same concept, same slip pockets that are hard to see in black. Okay, so back to the Playa Linen Wide Crop, which I picked up in coral. They also come in regular tall and petite lengths, sizes zero to 26, and only three colors there, black, coral, and then the teal that you saw me try on in store. Um, and those run $89, also machine washable, and they say dryable. Next, I did pick up this tee. Now the cool thing about the rest, well, this piece and the tanks, are that they can also easily be worn to work out. This one specifically is recommended for yoga, any kind of studio practice, hence the name studio practice. And these have some great little properties. This little slit, while it's cute and you know it's a cute little design, it also helps with breathability. Um, the Muscle Tee is $59. It comes in sizes extra, extra small, all the way up to 3X. Um, three colors, rose, black, and white. It's a tensile fabric, it's quick drying and wicking, which is nice if you, even if you're not working out in it, if you should live in somewhere like, oh, I don't know, San Antonio, where it is 95 degrees outside without the heat index, you dry, quick wicking clothes like that are great. Um, also, this is rated UPF 25 plus, a nice little added bonus. And then we also have, I went a little crazy, a little crazy, this seamless tank. This is $49, I want to say $49. There's one color currently on sale for $39. So it comes in uh, six colors, sizes extra, extra small to 1X. There is a cropped version of this as well, if that's something you're into. I am absolutely not. It does have the racer back, so um, I would recommend wearing a racer back bra. I have a couple from Soma that I love, and I just wasn't in the mood to try on more bras today. So I'm just gonna go with what I have. I love the ribbing. I don't know if you saw that in the store, but the ribbing is really nice. And again, these could easily be workout tanks. So if you're packing for a vacation, you're packing very light, maybe you wear this out one day, you could even rinse and dry it quickly in the sink and wear it to work out the next day. So pretty cool. And then my favorite piece is the Presidio dress. And I mean, I'll insert the picture. Can you hear how it swishes though? The fabric is amazing. This is, it does run big, so definitely size down at least one. I got mine in an extra small. It is $98, also comes in regular tall and petite lengths. Extra, extra small to 3X, rated UPF 50 plus. It's wrinkle resistant, great for packing and travel, machine washable and dryable, and is made out of recycled um, polyester and spandex. The colors, I love this in black. I think it's really chic in black, but also comes in coral, navy, which is calling my name, this beautiful bright azalea pink, and the black. So, that was a lot. I had set a budget of $400 in my head, and I hit it, I think it was 404 altogether. I'm thinking one of you might wanna do some shopping, and so we're gonna ignore that Mimi is barking so I can finish this up. Uh, Mark, in fact, is the store manager. He's incredible, he's so sweet. And as I was checking out, he asked if I'd be interested in a $50 gift card to give to one of you. So that's what I'm going to do. So make sure you hit the Rafflecopter link that is down in the bio for your chance to enter this $50 gift card. No strings attached. You can get bonus entries for following me on Instagram, for subscribing to my blog, subscribing to the newsletter, following me on the LTK app, but um, obviously being a subscriber here on YouTube would be helpful. I'm gonna reward the people who watch this on the very first day. 
So as you're watching this, I haven't decided what day it goes up. It will close at 11.59 p.m. Central that day. I'll put the details down in the description box. So this is a reward for my early bird subscribers, especially those of you who not only are subscribed, but you've hit that notification bell. So you get an alert every time I put up a video. This is for one of you. So thank you so much. I hope you had fun. I cannot wait to start styling these and wearing these. Be sure you're following me on Instagram to see that happen. Thanks for hanging out. Let me know where you want me to go next for a try on and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.